Good afternoon. Hey. hey guys, Chef JP here. Been camping out a lot lately. Feels good to be surrounded by nature. Even better when with friends gathering around delicious food and of course good wine. Yeah, this is something different, something new, something very challenging. Not challenging in a sense that it's uh, on a different level <laughs> because you shall see why. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to drive. When I, it's so funny when I saw Cam rocking, they're like, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then ito. Yung trailer po dito na Dito. Dito po yung setup po. Oh, this is your joke channel. Hello! <laughs> Are you guys having fun? Welcome to our hotel. Welcome to our hotel. Are you okay to hold on? 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 Are Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the handsy person. Over here we have endorser. <laughs> Chicken juice. Chicken juicy. Whoa, how'd you do that? Hi, So we're just setting up camp now. Everybody trying to figure out their setups. I recently discovered Terrazas Reserva Malbec from the mountains of Argentina. Pairs beautifully with grilled meat. It is full bodied but elegantly aromatic. It brings out the flavors of grilling. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Yes, Hello. this is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are again, back at the, the campsite. Dinner muna tayo with the crew, with the team, with the staff, and then tomorrow breakfast, and then your main event natin is lunch. So, ngayon, meron kaming isang kusinero sa Sarsa that's never been camping. Yung request niya sa HR namin is kung pwede daw masama siya sa camp. So, sabi ko, sige, sama ka, sama ka. Tara, this weekend. So here he is, ito siya, si Master. That's him, look at him. He's been with us for nine years, from the very beginning. And, uh, Master, first time mo mag-camp? Kapa. Ano, pakamusta pa kinamdam? Maganda. Maganda yung kusina ay... Presko. Presko. Ayan. So dahil presko at medyo may, may araw-araw pa ng konti, hiyayaan ka ni Job mag-swimming muna daw kayo. Ayan. So salin mo muna, Neri, yung niluluto ni Master. Hindi. Master, <laughs> totoo. <laughs> Go, totoo. Uh, Neri, bantayan mo lang ah. Ligo muna sandali. Ayan. Goods yan. <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got our uh, nice dining hall now under the tarp. What's cooking, chef? Uh, pork, pork and beans. 
uh, ulo ng baboy tsaka pata wow, eh. with beans inspired by chubby by yes inspired by mountain man baggy mountain man yes, ano oras na 7 o'clock ano kaya natin mag dinner ng 8:30 sa oras kalate kaya Kukulang. naman kaya naman chef kaya lang ito baka mahuli siya sige mag appetizer tayo uh, squid yung appetizer natin sige chef meron po stop squid chef oo oh, gusto ko ihawi natin diyan so dito tayo mamaya mag uh, station jan. Ito yung main kitchen. Tapos tingnan pa natin kung anong madampot natin na pang appetizer maliban sa pusit. Uh, may steak akong dala. May dala akong steak just in case. Magandang klase ng steak. Uh, Naka-frozen siya ngayon. Pwede naman bukas i na natin. Tapos Okay. Yung sirloin na to, pwede mo i-defrost to. Pwede kung Go tayo something. Ako lang gigis ako to something with whatever. Kasi pang pangkulutan natin, pang appetizer. Okay. Pero itong steak, i safety natin to. Kasha na to sa 12 bucks. Maliban sa isang slab natin. Ang sweet. Oo. Oh. Ha. Ito job yung smoke meat mo, binigay to ni Baguio Mountain Man. Ito yung parang sausage. Okay po. Para sa carbonara to bukas. Okay po. Kung gusto mo, tikman ngayon para maalam mo na kilalanin mo na yung lasa niya kuha ka ng dalawa, tatlo para lang matikman, matikman. Ha? In like an hour, we'll have appetizers okay. from from you guys and from us. We'll cook like a we'll ha we have soup, we have like a steak um, appetizer, we have grilled squid, and then later for supper, which is around 9:30 ish to 10, we'll have like a slow braised uh, pork and beans, homemade pork and beans, inspired by Baguio Mountain Man. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So this is um. Breaking, breaking bread part. Uh, this is our first time to camp together. So what's happening is tomorrow is the main event. So we were all sort of like super excited and uh, just all out for tomorrow because we want it to be really good. So we just we all decided that we should all first camp together. But uh, we get you know we break bread and we have a good time before work. And uh, I think tomorrow is going to be a good thing. And hopefully tomorrow. The weather cooperates. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Cheers. Yeah. We're gonna cook with a Malbec from Argentina. Bagaito sa ating pork and bean stew. Wow. 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 Para lang mas mabilis siya maluto. Tapos lakasan natin. Yung... Meron na, may sign na tayo. Ah, meron meron na. Na. Sige, i pwede mo i-garlic rice. Oh. We added like a, a one bottle of uh, Malbec in this stew. So. <laughs> oh, it's like chavis. Yeah, but with wine. But you have the fixed head also. Look at that. Damn! Sorry, we can't we can't show this on YouTube because we'll get demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's saying hi. So the first time was a cross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the first time. That was the first time. Nice. It was raining, the oh, oh. It's so. It's, it's different, right? Yeah. Yeah. But once you start, it's a lot. But it's a really good one. Yeah. It is. But it's the back. It's so grand. It's part of it. Yeah. As I was packing last night, I'm like, oh, we're going camping again. But right now that I'm here, oh, it was all, awesome. it was all, it was worth it. This is your third week, straight, right? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Yung ginagawa ni ni Master kanin, tapos if you flavor mo siya ng parang chorizo, yung parang smoke, uh, almost like a pepperoni. So he's just gonna, ka, dahil na kakasaing ng natin ng kanin. So hindi siya talagang yung typical mong sinangag. Kasi 'di ba pag sinangag uh, tuyo yung kanin. So, Iwowok mo ba siya or awowok mo pa rin? Okay, okay. Tatlong dekada na tong kusinero eh. So, wag na tayong mag-explain siya na lang. Ito yung tinapay, pa-ihaw lang sandali. Painit lang. Pero itabi mo muna, timingin mo muna kasi lutuin ko muna yung steak. Para nalalaman mo yung ginawa nating steak sandwich. So Aaron, I got here. I got here strip loin. Last time kasi parang hindi natin na step by step process yung ating steak sandwich or na step by step pa sa edit. Niko pa napanood din. Eh. <laughs> Saks lang. Saks lang oh, sige. There so, was a lot going on. Okay. So here it's like a I guess a, I don't know, like a straight up steak sandwich na kung ano lang meron tayo. So I'm just slicing it. Yung wok pwede kong gamitin muna bago ka mag-fried rice. Sige, painit na lang ma ng mabilis. Ah, painit na. Tapos pakilagay lang ng mantika. So slice ko lang siya ganun. Tabi ko siya. And then ito, this is grilled leeks na iniyaw ni Master kanina. Um, white onions. Guys, nasa camp tayo ha? So wala na akong time mag uh, hiwalay na chopping board, hiwalay na lahat. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to slice it like so. And this is this is grilled longanisa. There, I am going to put it in our pork and beans too. So, Baguio Mountain Man, natuto na rin kami sa inyo. Ito na yung evolution ng dish mo. Balik tayo dito sa steak. So, habang nag, yung wok natin ay nag-iinit, slicing some onions again. So, basically, steak, onions, bell pepper, yun lang actually. So, wag na garlic, wag na. Tapos titimpla na lang natin ng titimpla lang natin ng tatlong ingredient lang. Soy sauce, mirin, sesame oil, and siguro meron akong chili salt. Pag nag-slice kayo guys ng bell pepper, 'di ba? Ganito. Wag niyo i-slice ng kumbaga, wag niyo i-slice ng ganito. Is wag niyo i-slice ng ganito i quarter mo siya. Dahil pag ganito, maraming sayang. The reason why na hindi ko talaga makakalimutan to is because when I was a young apprentice back in the day like I don't know, a decade ago, I sinlice ko nang ganyan, grabe. Pinagalitan talaga ako ng chef ko. And from this day on, nalala ko pa yun. So every time I slice it, talagang pinagalitan niya ako dahil wastage. Pag sinlice mo siyang ganito, guys, tapos, di ba? So yung yield mo, maganda pa. Versus, slice mo siya diretso, mas marami kang sayang. Food cost kasi yun eh. So anyway, balik tayo sa procedures natin. Uh, yun, slice ko lang siya. Basta sa pagluluto, kung ano yung pwede mong matago, magamit, Maganda yan kasi wala kang tapon, wala kang sayang na food cost, kumbaga. Then, important rin na yung mga katrabaho mo, relax, happy, para productive ang work culture natin. Medyo iba yung camp vibes ngayon. Hindi ako sanay na tahimik yung camp. Kasi siguro wala mga katabi ko, yung mga kapitbahay ko. 
alam nyo na kung sino kayo, namimiss ko kayo, and at the same time, hindi rin. <laughs> pero, pero tumawa ako kasi nakakamiss. Nakakamiss imagine, kailangan ko magdaldal the whole night dahil wala kayo. Kung nandiyon kayo, pwede na ako magluto lang kasi kayo, nagda, kayo na nagdadaldal eh. Anyway, tanungin na natin si Master kung ano na yung ginagawa ngayon. Oh, like, si Master naman ang bida ngayon. Ay, ay, parang hindi na ako kasi yung ano niya ako. Yung stop. Kapag hindi naman yung lalabas na. Talawa pa siya. Ilaw pa yung loob niyan. Slice ko lang siya strips. Nandiyan ba yung parang steel? Yung steel, yung pang kuchilo, yung pang hasa sa kuchilo. Dala niyo. Pahiram nga. Medyo makurul na yung kuchilo. Pagkatapos ng first course or ng unang dish, medyo steady-steady na tayo. Kasi may kinakain na yung mga tao. So, importante sa kusina ay kailangan matalim ang kuchilyo. Kasi kung hindi, nakaka-frustrate magluto pag purol yung kuchilyo. Minsan, di ba, pag nasa bahay ka, nagsaslice ka pero medyo hindi ka happy dahil purol yung kuchilyo nyo. So, parang... Nagluluto ka na lang, nagsaslice ka, nagpe-prep ka, pero bakit ka naiinis? Hindi mo alam. Dahil puro yung kutsilyo mo. So guys, it's importante to invest on a good, sharp knife. Sabihin nyo, ay mahal, pero worth it siya. Promise. Mainit na siya. Sige, mantika na lang. Gigisahin ko yung sibuyas. Akasang ko pa. Yan. Ito yung kagandahan sa Camp Chef. Yung Camp Chef na galing sa Overland Kings, sobrang lakas. Parang ang nasa restaurant. Parang na, parang na ako sininong rin. Ah. Kula na lang malaki yung chan ko. Anyway. De, totoo, yung Camp Chef, it's so... Parang talaga nasa restaurant. Pero you're outdoors. So, unahin ko muna yung onions. Sa ganitong stage, pwede na ako maglagay ng bell pepper. Yung red wine natin, kukontrahan ko lang ng konting patis. Pag niluto mo yung patis, mas maganda kasi mas, mas matamis siya. At saka yung nawawala yung parang fishy taste niya. Okay, tama na muna sa patis. Ngayon, hulog ko na yung beef. Pang napapansin ko, paki master, paki assist lang. Lagay mo nga mantika, konti lang. Yan, okay na yan. Lagay ako ng beef. Dahil frozen yung beef, so gisahin ko lang siya. Iloko muna yung... Ilo, this time, iloko na siya. Then, dito na ako magtitimpla. Titimpla ko ng... Tatlong ingredient, soy sauce, tapos mirin para tumamis ng konti. Last ko yung sesame oil. Last na talaga. May chicken powder ba dyan? Pahingi. Job, init na tayo sa tinapay. Quite nice. Kasi tinikman ko siya. Ang ganda ng lasa ng, with the red wine. Bagay siya with mushroom. Job, job. Ihaw na, ihawin natin yung mushroom. Pag nasa camp kayo, dahil open fire palagi, try nyo na ihawin yung lahat. Paihaw nga, kalahati lang. Okay, sir. Tapos, uh, pan lang ah, atsuete oil lang. Tapos, balik mo sa akin, chapin lang natin, halo ko dito. Konting pitik lang ng chicken powder para mas malinamnam.
Then, ilolow ko na. Ilolow ko na to. May carry over cooking pa to eh. Masarap to with the mushrooms. Actually, gusto ko nga haluan ng cheese kaso lang. Kailangan ko pa yung cheese para bukas. <laughs> you know what? Soy sauce. Konting konti lang. Actually, ikaw na yung naisip ko, Aaron. Um, papatikim ko sa ito, pero bago ako magpatikim, siguro din ko muna masarap. Kasi ayaw ko, gusto ko ma-happy ka. So pag nagpatikim kayo guys, siguro din muna <laughs> masarap. <laughs> Para sulit naman yung hintay na tao. Okay. Ngayon, dahil strip loin, and hindi ko siya sinilayas na mabuti. So may parts na medyo may chew. Okay lang. Halika, halika. Um, I'm still gonna... I'll fix the flavor. It's gonna strengthen pa. Yun yung parang base flavor ko. Um, kailangan ko lang ng butter para mas maging creamy. Pag nahalo ko na yung grilled mushrooms dito, mas maging masarap. And then, ooh! Halo ko yung grilled leeks. Guys, pa job yung torch natin nandiyan, 'di ba? Pa-setup nga ng torch. 'Yun yung advantage pag may kasama kang brigade ha. Pag siyempre pag solo camper ka, hindi tayo pwedeng magutos ng ganyan. Pero since dinala natin yung buong restaurant natin dito sa River Ranch, kaya pwede tayong mag hingi ng assistance or rest back kumbaga. Don't do this at home when you're alone. <laughs> Pero yun, know, pinatay ko na siya kasi ayaw ko ma-overcook yung meat. Actually, tanggalin ko na siya from the fire. Halo ko yung leeks. Yan, lagay mo lang dyan. Grilled leeks. Grilled leeks. A knob of butter. Off without the fire. Because pag, when, you, when you put a knob of butter off the fire lalapot yung sauce mo kasi pag with the fire masyadong malakas yung temperature and mabilis siya matunaw since ito dahan-dahan maging creamy siya and maging malapot siya ng konti right and now i'm sure you can smell it already right so you know so So slowly, nawawala na si butter. You know what? Kasi we're slightly getting carried away and we're happy and you know, it works naman. Let's add one more. What's, what's one knob of butter versus one bar of butter? Yeah. And since now we're all tired, diba? we kind of want to start the night with a nice hearty dish. So we'll leave that. While that's sort of like incorporating, I'm gonna assemble. I got here truffle brie. Fancy. Onion. Mushroom. Halo mo nga dun sa... Ah, chop muna natin. Chop mo, tantarin mo talaga. Ito na yung mushroom na ginawa ni Job. Tingnan mo. So, bango. Chop mo, halo mo dun sa beef. So guys, teamwork to ah. Ito. Dito isang tao lang ah. May nag-comment kasi doon nung last bossy daw ako. Para mag I guess para para ka maging isang maayos na leader. Hindi mo naman kaya gawin lahat eh. Kailangan mo ng tulong. So kailangan mo ng rest back. Kailangan mo ng support. Kaya nagpapatulong ako sa mga kasama ko, sa brigada ko, sa brigade ko. Kaya pag pag mga ganitong setup Um, yun. Depends. Kung tayo lang Aaron, tayo lang ni Jed, ni Job, eh si Job lang dalhin ko. Or ako lang. Pero kung medyo may ekspektasyon yung tao, uh, kailangan tayo magdala ng team. And uh, again, nag, uh, nagsasorry ako sa mga lahat na may expectation na hindi ko na natupad. Sorry, tao lang. Pero noted, alam namin yung mga mistakes namin and we're doing something about it. Okay, sorry, siningit ko lang yan kasi 
through the week yun yung feeling ko eh. So, basta. Basta importante lang na noted and we'll do something about it, okay? Anyway, balik sa pagluluto. Iba talaga ang aura pag wala si Ninong Ray, no? <laughs> Tahimik, no? Oo. Oh, oh. huh? Parang mas nakaka-relax pero malungkot din. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. So, ito, brie. Brie. Brie cheese. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. Right. Ooh, chocolate brie. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful with the mushrooms. Okay, lagay mo lang dyan. I-assemble ko yan. Ito, tinapay siguro dahil ayaw natin mabusog sila kaagad kasi marami tayong ulam. Hatiin ko muna. Yan. Alam nyo ba na si CJ, kung napansin nyo, yan, si CJ. Di ba? Napansin nyo yan sa Overland Kings. Bakit nandito siya tumitingin? Hindi dahil gutom siya. Dahil isa siyang waiter dati bago siya nagtrabaho sa Overland Kings. Pero wag na natin sabihin yan kasi baka mautusan pa siya dito sa kusina. <laughs> so, ang trabaho niya nandito ay kakain. Ito <laughs> na. Yung hinalun. Hinalun mo na yung... Ah, hindi pa. Ano? Okay. Lipat ko siya sa pahinga ng bowl. May bowl tayo dyan. Para... Para magamit na ni Master yung walk. Ah, you have to look at this. Ayun. Dahil hindi na makapaghintay si Master sa walk, ginamit niya yung rice cooker. Imagine guys, meron tayong commercial rice cooker in the middle of the camp. <laughs> Pati si Master natawa. Kasi hindi niya pa yata nakita to. So he's gonna make a garlic rice using the rice cooker. What's it? Ano yung... Saan siya nakapatong? Sa bato, and gas, gas kasi yan. Kaya malakas yung apoy niya. So, meron tayong bisita mamaya, or ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung siya na yun. Check mo na lang yun. Hey, hey, Chef James. How are you? Welcome, hello, welcome hello. to what do we call this camp? Thank you. Camp, uh, uh, camp Javier. Uh, <laughs> Tim, so yeah, this is everyone. Everyone. <laughs> okay, I think uh, let's let Tim settle down and then let's feed him now. Because I'm sure matagal yung biyahe niya, so pakainin natin siya. Ah, uh, meron tayong ayong ano? Ah, uh, for dinner. Uh, we have a uh, grilled stuff pusit. Ayan po. Uh. You know, grilled stuff pusit. Wow. Pwede nga ko pala yung kanin. Pwede nga ko pala yung kanin. Siguro let's do like that na lang, no? Para maliit. Pwede <laughs> You've leveled this up. You've got the <laughs> kind of mini mini sandwiches now. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, you got I. Brie? Yes, I got brie. <laughs> oh my god! It's just truffle brie. Truffle? This is just, just a little know. bit of truffle. <laughs> and then yeah, just we got old, we got grilled around. mushrooms here <laughs> to oh, top it off, and then we finish off with a cheese. And also, they were saying that the malbec that they brought is really yes. perfect for this. Yes, sir. Oh my god. That's why I um I added um grilled mushrooms because I think I tried I cooked it I cooked the steak with uh, the malbec yeah. malbec 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 <laughs> malbec <laughs> malbec I cooked the steak with the malbec and I think it it's really good with um with grilled, mushrooms yeah with grilled mushrooms uh, and then we're gonna top it off with um with uh brie oh my god okay sea salt. Then we're just going to torch it. Para lang may init init ng konte. This is our first course for tonight. It's sort of like just a sort of like a cheesesteak sandwich cooked in Malbec. We're practicing for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just slowly torching it so that I mean I'm just lightly. 
torching it so that it's somehow warm. But it's brie cheese on top, uh, sirloin, and then uh, cooked in Malbec, uh, grilled mushrooms, and uh, bell pepper with a on a wheat bread. All right, so yeah, go for it. Uh, have it with your favorite drink. And then uh, next course will be the, the pork. Thank you, Camille. This one, this one. This one. This one. Wow. Mm. All right. Damn. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for making it. It's super cool to be here with all you guys. Um, such a cool setup we have. Good, good food, good vibes, good people, good weather. Thank you very much. Uh, so Job is uh, slicing our stuffed squid. Um, we'll start with the stuffed squid. And then um, <laughs> Mr. Neil made, uh, what did you make, Neil? It's in Sarabasa, but it's a Ilocano dish. Ilocano dish. Yeah, it's a Ilocano. My mom, my mom. Ah, cool. So it's basically... Uh, it's kilawin. Kilawin. Grilled pork kilawin. Yeah. Pork, and then it's spicy. It's not so spicy. Not so spicy. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. but it's good. It's, it's And good. it's perfect for this weather, right? Yeah. Especially if you have beer. There you go. So we start off with... Uh, with that <laughs> and then there's some fish over there then grilled squid here then uh, we have um, garlic chorizo fried rice then uh, in that container over there that's the leftover um, steak from the sandwich so you, if you want you can top it over your rice and then after this meal we are making a homemade pork and beans inspired by Baguio Mountain Man that we re that will be ready in an hour or 30 minutes maybe. And then I am a, we're making a soup because it's kind of chilly. So yeah, cheers and dig in. Cheers. cheers. In, in like, di ba sa probinsya, pag nagluto tayo ng, ng kanin sa, sa kahoy or sa apoy, mas masarap. So same rin sa camp. So pag nagluto tayo ng stew, mas masarap. And this is the juice from the pork. I'll just mix it in. Pork belly, why not? Yes! Yeah. To give it that smoky flavor. And you know what? Para lang masaya, let's just put it in like that. And then uh, we'll get bowls, but we can have it as a stew. But uh, while you guys wait, I'll serve you guys some liempo. Oh, that's what I want to who needs tongs? <laughs> yeah, just pick up the charcoal and leave it around. <laughs> and then just drizzle with the chicken oil. And then, uh, yeah. There. So, get your, um, just use your hands and. Uh, okay. Yeah, go for it. Tapos bukas ng umaga, uulamin natin to. Create your own adventures with terrazas. Check out the link below.